And hello YouTube and welcome back to another episode of The Zone TV Movie Entertainment with me, your host Jonathan. Once again, bringing you my thoughts and movie review for the brand new Steven Spielberg film, West Side Story. That's right. Steven Spielberg is back making movies again. Well, <laughs> gotta be honest, never saw the original movie. So I went in here thinking, okay, it's Steven Spielberg. Might as well just go check it out. And I guess West Side Story tells a story of two people falling in love. And then there's like some conflict. It's also a musical. And it actually kind of reminded me a lot of like a modern day warm, um, Romeo and Juliet. In a, in a way. It kind of reminds me of that. You have this young kid um, played by Aaron Ergert. I probably butchered it. I apologize. He's like this young street kid who just... You know, he, he you know he, he he has a gang kind of. He's in a gang, and then he meets this girl who's kind of like you know a middle class young girl living. I think in I think it's the Heights, I believe. I I just saw this movie once, so I probably butchering some things here. And when they first meet, they start fall, they fall in love, but then certain people are like eh, you don't really belong with someone like him, or you don't belong with someone like she doesn't fit in our crowd. It really reminded me of like Romeo and Juliet, like you know. And then you know, there's some wars going on. Not what much of like a fighting war, but more of like conflict between you know arguments and stuff. It really actually reminded me of a lot of like Romeo and Juliet stuff. Music in here is great, and seeing these two kids. Like, really, like, they, they want to be with each other. Doing things that they shouldn't be doing. to try to be with each other. You know, they got their friends and their families telling them, Oh, don't do that. Don't do this. It, it, I'm telling you, I kept, I watched this film and I'm like, This is like a modern day Romeo and Juliet. Now, granted, and like I said, I never seen the original movie. So, I don't know too much about the original stories. So maybe it, it's a little bit different. But the way I see it, it kind of interprets interpretates to being kind of like Romeo and Juliet in a modern day. But, like I said, I, I thoroughly enjoy this film a lot because, honestly, watching this film and, you know, the background with the music was great. Um, the cinematography was great. The way that they, you know, first of all, Sp Steven Spielberg, he's not very known for musicals, so I think this was his very first one. The Elder Ride Out of the Park. You know, you know, when you're watching like a baseball player and you know he's gonna hit all the time, you go there and you you enjoy it. I mean sometimes they have hits or misses, but Spielberg, he knocked this out of the park easily. This might be one of his best films in recent years. But I mean I mean the guy could literally do anything. Um the acting in this movie was phenomenal. I think um the main girl, she was great. I really enjoyed watching her performance. I think there was an interview with her saying that, like, like a lot of casting people try to figure out who was going to be the main girl. And then Spielberg just looked at her and was like, you're the one. Like, out of nowhere. So, or he, or she sent her an audition tape, I think I was, I read about something about She sent him an audition tape and he automatically, like, yeah, that's the girl I want to be my main, my main girl. So, that was cool. But, yeah, I, I, I really, I, I really like this movie a lot. This movie... Had great music, great dialogue. Um, the characters were great, so not, it didn't feel like it was boring at any times. Because, like I said, I'd never seen the original, so I can't really compare. Though well, this part wasn't like the original, or this part was just like the original, so I can't compare. I'm just watching what I saw. When I seen, everything worked in every way. The music, I really thought the music was cool. I'm starting to download it now into my phone, so you know iTunes. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, West Side Story is awesome. Go give it a shot. If you're not a musical fan, it's not for you. But if you are a musical fan, but with a cool story behind it, check it out. Like if, like, and also, like I said, if you've never seen the original, go in there, open-minded. It's Steven Spielberg, for Christ's sake. So whatever he's going to do, we're going to go check it out anyway. Could be great, could be not. But with him, it's always going to be a hit. So you can always bet your money on him being a smash hit. Maybe now a box office wise but more like you know in quality of the film and i think he hit it out of the park in my opinion but you know it's not for everybody musicals are not for everybody and this movie he does ha i feel like this year had a lot of musicals yet yeah, in the heights and canto was a musical this is a musical i think musicals were like the key 
factor of 2021. So go figure. But yeah, West Side Story is awesome. I enjoyed it a lot. And um, I'm actually kind of looking forward to see what Steven Spielberg does next. Because he's never done a musical. And to me, he, he really nailed it out of the park. So leave me a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought about West Side Story. You guys are fans of the original movie? Not a fan of the original movie? Did you ever watch it? Does it compare to the original? Leave a comment below. Let me know. Thank you very much and have a good day.